Great. Um, before we go ahead and learn about the Python basics such as variables, functions, and so on, I think it's good that you, you understand how a Python program looks like. This is especially good if you have never programmed before. Now, as in many other programming languages, uh, you may have three kinds of programs. And I'll tell you why we have three kinds of programs. So you may have a program with a common line interface, such as this one here. You may have a program with a graphical user interface, such as this one here. So it's a desktop application. And you may also have a web application, such as this one in here, that runs on the browser, and it can be accessed uh, through the internet. Now, the first thing you should know is that all these programs, they are based on a .py uh, file, such as this one in here. So this is a, a Python file, and whenever you start building something, you should write your code in this script, uh, which looks like uh, this one here. Anyway, and then once you have that script, uh, you can either uh, run it through the command line interface, such as this one, script 4.py, execute it, and then you communicate with the interface. So your program, your Python program, is asking you to enter some uh, letters in there. Uh, so enter v, uh, v, uh, enter c for consonants, l or c, anyway, and you get some output in the command line interface. Now, when do you use such a program? Uh, well, you'd use this program if you're not planning to, to distribute this program to normal users, to people who don't know programming. So, uh, as you saw, uh, I used Python, the Python program, which I have already installed, and, I show, and I'll show you how to install that later. So I use Python and then point to the Python script, so to the Python program, to execute that program. No, norm, normal users, they, they don't have Python installed, or they don't know how to uh, execute a Python program. And that's why you have graphical user interfaces there, such as this one, or browsers, such as this one in here. And yeah, uh, when would you use a desktop application such as this? Well, you'd use that if you just want to distribute your program to a specific number of users. Let's say you, you, you work on a company and you will want to build a program for the employees of the company to do specific tasks. And so you could build this program and it's possible to create an executable file out of your Python program. This particular one is a .exe file for Windows. It runs on Windows as a standalone program, but you can also create .app files for Mac computers. And yeah, then uh, the user, they don't need to have Python installed. They will simply execute that uh, .exe file and they can use the application. So. That's the application, and we'll be building all these three uh, applications in the course. So the command line interface one, uh, the web application, and the desktop-based uh, application. And then you have web applications, such as this one in here. <laughs> so when would you use a web application? Uh, well, the web applications are best when your audience is large. So basically, you, you may want as many users to your uh, application uh, as possible. So for instance, uh, what we have here is, this is a geocoder uh, service. So it, it geocodes, it converts addresses to latitude and longitude coordinates. So what users can do here is they uh, can choose a file, so a CSV file, and then uh, you calculate latitude and longitude and send them back a CSV file uh, with those values. So a web application, in simple words, can be uh, for anyone. And uh, this also is based on .py files on the background, so I wouldn't show these files for now. Uh, we're going to build all these applications, as I told you. So, and yeah, that's about this lecture. I hope you, you have a clear idea now on uh, what a program, a Python program, looks like, and what you can do with Python as well. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them in the Q&A section, so in the discussion area of the course. And yeah, I'll be happy to help you. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll talk to you in the next lectures.